Meet Myrtle the Turtle. She's an eight-year-old, red-eared slider turtle. These turtles are terrapins, which means she can live in or out of the water, but she likes and needs to spend most of her time in the water. All turtles must have access to clean water and a well-balanced, nutritious diet for them to remain in good health and full of energy. What do I eat? So turtles are omnivores. That means they eat both animal and plant-based foods. So things that usually grow in the water. Do you think we should give her some breakfast though? Yeah. Variety is essential in a turtle's diet which means that they shouldn't eat too much of one type of food and not enough of another. Imagine if you could only eat one type of food for every meal. Oh, how boring would that be? But even though variety is good, as a responsible turtle guardian, it's important to know that there are lots of things that turtles can't eat. These foods are poisonous for your turtle and can make them very sick. Never feed your turtle processed human food dairy food, very sweet food, or very salty food. There are also some vegetables that are good for us, but bad for turtles. Different turtle species vary in what they can eat, so it's always best to double check with your vet before feeding your turtle anything new. All right, so this is the food we have for Myrtle. So we have some special turtle pellets here, which have all the vitamins and minerals and everything she needs to be happy and healthy. And we've got watercress, and then we've got the little special balls that we made for her earlier. So that's got fish and watercress and all the yummy stuff she likes. Will she come out of the water? She does sometimes, but it's really important that she only eats while in the water. Turtles are often opportunistic feeders. This means that they will often not stop eating, even when they're full. So it's important not to overfeed your turtle. How often they eat, what they eat, and how much they eat will depend on their age and their species. So again, it's best to ask your vet for advice. After feeding, if there are some bits of leftover food in their tank, make sure you remove them with a net. This prevents your turtle from becoming overweight and stops the food from creating bacteria in their tank that can make them ill. All of this means that if you go on holiday, you can't just leave your turtle with lots of food. It's important that you organise for someone who is responsible to take care of them while you're away. Does she eat the plants? Yes, she does sometimes like to nibble on them, but some plants can make turtles sick, so it's important to make sure that you check they're safe before you put them in her tank. Naturally, turtles will want to have a munch on living plants. This is a normal feeding behaviour and should be encouraged. Live plants have many benefits for turtles besides just being a tasty snack. They also provide oxygen, help stop bad bacteria and reduce algae in the tank. Feeding your turtle the right food for them is a great way to keep them healthy and show them your love. This big tank of fresh, clean water is home to Myrtle the Turtle. When it comes to choosing the right environment for your turtle, the bigger the enclosure, the better. Turtles like Myrtle can grow to a shell length of about 20 to 35 centimetres and will do so regardless of the size of their enclosure. So before adopting a turtle, be sure you have enough room and are ready to provide them with the space they need to exercise and stretch. Turtles need enough water to be able to swim without breaking the surface of the water and without touching the sides or bottom of their tank. They should come out of the water for a rest. Yes, exactly. So she'll spend most of her time in the water here, but she will need a rest from swimming every now and then. So this is what this area is for. It's nice and dry for her to have a rest. Can they live outside? Yeah, so turtles can live outside, but it's important to keep them inside while they're still little. And then they can go outside when they're about 15 centimeters long. Um, it's just important that when they are outside, you have a fence, so this keeps them safe and New Zealand's wildlife safe. Turtles use their water to swim, eat, and go to the bathroom in, so it's important to keep it clean. 
Every enclosure needs a good filter, and every week you need to change at least half of the water. If you find that there's an unpleasant smell coming from your turtle's tank, this means the water needs to be changed or cleaned more often. It's also a good idea to test your turtle's water weekly. Safe water should be low in ammonia and nitrate. It's best to ask an adult for help with this. Thanks for Yeah, turtles like their privacy, so that's one of the reasons we have plants in there and why we have this cover, so she can hide and feel safe when she needs to. Just like other reptiles, turtles need external heat sources to keep their body temperature warm. A turtle enclosure needs a basking zone. This is a warm, dry area on land where turtles can absorb heat from a special reptile heat lamp. They also need a place out of the water to cool down. The water itself will often also need heating and should stay at about 22 degrees all of the time, so this needs to be checked daily. Is this a special light? Yeah, it is actually. So this is a UV reptile light. So because Myrtle's enclosure is inside, she doesn't get the UV from the sun that helps her keep healthy. So we keep this light on during the day and turn it off at night. Can the bear stars on the ground? Yeah, definitely. So that's called substrate. Myrtle doesn't really like it, so that's why it's not in here. But some turtles will need it. Substrate is the material often used along the bottom of an enclosure. It can help to stop your turtle from damaging the rubber sealant at the bottom of the tank. Make sure you don't use small stones or gravel as substrate, because turtles can eat the stones which will make them very sick. The key thing is to use what's right for your specific turtle. Some good examples are fine sand, or large stones, or perhaps nothing at all, like myrtle. If you have a turtle or hornu as a companion animal, or are thinking about getting one, you should know about Salmonella. Salmonella is a type of microscopic bacteria that reptiles can carry. If it gets onto your hands, then onto your food or into your stomach, it can make you very sick. To avoid Salmonella being transferred from your turtle to you, or vice versa, you must wash your hands before and after every interaction. It's also important to wash your hands after handling any equipment that has come into contact with them or their enclosure. It's always best to keep handling to a minimum to keep your turtle's stress levels low. They're the kind of animal that enjoy being looked at, but not being touched. If you do need to handle them, the best way to pick up a turtle is using both hands, one on each side of their shell, in the middle of their body. Is Myrtle healthy? Yeah, she is. So she actually gets a vet checkup once or twice a year, and then we always watch her carefully to make sure she has bright eyes, smooth skin, and a smooth shell. Turtles can also develop illnesses if they do not have a well-balanced diet, are overfed, if their water is not kept clean, or if their heating and lighting is not working properly. If you notice your turtle is very tired, hiding more than normal, not eating, bleeding, or if there is a change in their poo, they could be sick and really need to see your vet right away. Not all vets are experienced with looking after turtles, so it's a good idea to check with them when you're booking your appointment. When taking your turtle to the vet, you need to place them in a ventilated container. If the journey is short, it's okay to place them in there with a dry towel. If it's going to be a longer journey, a damp, moist towel is the best choice, along with a heat pack. Be sure that your turtle does not get too hot or too cold and keep transport as short as possible to avoid stress. Myrtle is a red-eared slider turtle, so it's important that she gets to do the things that turtles like and need to do. This includes expressing natural turtle behaviours. Just like us, turtles need to exercise to stay healthy, so make sure they have enough room in their enclosure to swim around easily. 
Turtles are active and curious animals, so they need to be able to move around and explore. Another interesting natural turtle behaviour can be hibernation. This is when your turtle might go to sleep for a long time over winter. Not all species of turtle hibernate, and it normally only happens if your turtles live outside in a pond. If you suspect your turtles may want to hibernate, make sure you ask your vet for advice on how to keep them safe over the colder months. What's this rule for? for? That's Myrtle's brush, so she uses that to rub against and clean her shell, but it also acts as enrichment, so it's something she can play with and explore. Just like us, turtles can get bored and lonely. To keep them interested and happy, you can add new plants, change their environment up a bit, and make sure you visit them every day. Whatever the enrichment is that you provide for your turtle, you must first make sure that it is safe. Some food and plants can be toxic, and different environments can be hazardous for your turtle. If you are unsure if something is safe or not, ask your vet beforehand. Tonu, or turtles like Myrtle here, deserve love, care, understanding and respect from their guardians. All turtles have unique needs and requirements, and for each breed these can be different. Before you make the commitment to be a turtle guardian, you need to find out and learn as much as you can about what turtles need to be healthy and happy, and make sure that you have the time and money to meet those needs. If you do adopt a turtle, make sure you set up their enclosure at least two weeks before they arrive home, so you know it's all working properly. Then, when introducing your turtle to their new home, let them explore and discover it at their own speed. It's also important to leave the lights off until the following day to help them adjust. When you first bring your turtle home, it's best not to handle them for about three weeks. This will help them settle into their new environment. After this point, turtles will prefer limited interactions. Each turtle has a different personality. Just like people, get to know your turtle and respect what they like and do not like. If your turtle is hiding, that's a clear sign that they are wanting to be left alone. So respect your turtle by giving them space and do not disturb them. Does Myrtle want a turtle friend? Well, turtles like Myrtle are solitary animals, so they can sometimes live in groups, but they're not really friends with each other. Myrtle's perfectly happy being by herself. If you and your family decide that you would like your turtle to have a friend, you need to make sure that they're paired appropriately. For example, males can be very territorial and are best housed alone. Turtle fights can be nasty. Each turtle will need their own basking area, their own hideouts and their own food. Sometimes having a tank mate can cause more stress, so it's important to know what's best for your turtle. 